Thank you, Deputy Chairman, sir. Sir, the National Waterways Bill represents the basis for a very, very ambitious initiative to harness our waterways for transportation infrastructure. But this will be truly ambitious if it also balances a variety of other dimensions which I would like to place before the minister. Sir, a river is not just a waterway. It is a living ecosystem. It is something that we must protect and nurture. And that is the key issue that I want to place before the minister. When you think about the ecology of rivers, the Ganga comes to mind. And right there, we have a variety of endangered species. We have the Gangetic Dolphin. The Gangetic Dolphin is a blind animal that essentially navigates through sonar navigation. And when you have heavy traffic, when you have dredging, when you have all kinds of other disturbances in the river, it is going to be particularly challenging for this very special species to be able to survive. Similarly, if you were to look at the kinds of animal sanctuaries that already exist on the river, I would like to ask the minister, what is the plan for these sanctuaries? There is the Vikram Shila Gangetic Dolphin Sanctuary in Bhagalpur. In the Prime Minister's constituency, we have a turtle sanctuary from Ramnagar Fort to Asighat. We have a national chambal sanctuary. So how are you going to address these sanctuaries? How do they fit in with these waterway issues that you're planning? I must say, sir, Gangetic Dolphin, Ghadial, Kachua, Along with this, along with this, sir, I must point out, when we are talking about ecological issues and environmental issues, I am not sure that the ministry has the capacity to address these issues at all. Your ministry is in charge of infrastructure, roads, building things, moving things, etc. But you must integrate the capacity to assess the environmental impact, not just of one project here or one project there, but the cumulative environmental impact of all these projects. And so I urge you, Mr. Javadekar was sitting next to you earlier, I wish you were here, to work closely with his ministry to integrate members from his ministry and elsewhere to strengthen your environmental management capacity. So, similarly, there is the whole Swachh Ganga initiative. If your ships and barges are leaking all kinds of fuels into the Ganga. It would be totally counterproductive to the other initiative which uh, Srimati Kumari Umar Bharti is trying to pursue. So please ensure that this, this, are, this is an opportunity to use newer, cleaner, environmentally friendly technology and only that. Just like we have Bharat 5, Bharat 7 for tra car transport, we should have uh, standards for water transport as well. So we have seen uh, issues in Sundarbans, a hazardous oil spill which had huge negative impact on that very, very critical ecosystem. What are the liability issues there? Who will bear the costs? Who will bear the costs of repairing and restoring that ecosystem? That is a question that I cannot see addressed in this bill at all. So Tiruchi Shiva just spoke about some rivers. One river that he spoke about is the Palar. That is na National Waterway number 75. I, in the Karnataka stretch of the Palar, I own lands on the banks of the Palar. As a child, I learned swimming with a log on my back on that river. There used to be water in that river then. I have not seen water for a very long time. And so when we talk about the lack of perennial rivers, it is something that we experience as farmers, and I do not know where you're going to get that water in order to ensure that these waterways will actually flourish. And if you get that water, I don't know what my father, farmer brothers downstream, but if that water was there where we are, we would want it for irrigation. So one of the key questions I have for you, how are you going to address the conflicting demands for that water with farmers, with other people who want drinking water in the local towns, uh, in the local villages? How are those going to be addressed? Are they all going to have their rights to that water uh, removed because the water, waterway has now become a national subject? Similarly, sir, when we think, when we think, I'll conclude with that, when we think about livelihoods, you are putting new kinds of boats on the river. What happened to the traditional boatmen? What happened to the fishermen if there is an ecological impact which affects the ability of the river to sustain fish? 
So these are questions that you must address as you go forward. Similarly, some of these rivers are interstate rivers. Some of them are international rivers. There are disputes over these kinds of issues that take us forever, hundreds of years sometimes. I don't know how your initiatives will address or find congruence with our government and our national perspectives on those, is, uh, on those aspects. So I'm not going to speak very long. I am just going to say that the Prime Minister has started talking about sustainable development. This waterway initiative is development, but unless you make it sustainable, unless you work with Mr. Javadekar and his ministry and ensure that the ecosystem is protected, that dredging does not result in enormous damage and, uh, and you convert the water, uh, waterway, a river, from a living ecosystem into a dead, but tra dead transportation canal. Until you address these issues, this would be a very, very limited initiative. You have a reputation for being a very effective minister. If you are able to address these multifaceted goals, I would be happy to give you that title, and I wish you well in the initiatives Thank going you. forward. Thank you Thank very much, Deva Gowda. Made a good speech. Now, Dr. Chandra. Rajiv Gowda, sir. Deva Gowda, Pradhan. Ah, sorry, Rajiv Gowda.